So I'm going to give you a predictable, repeatable system that you can implement. I don't know if you've ever seen Neo speak. You may think Neo's a good speaker. You may think I'm a, I'm a good speaker. This comes through repetition. It comes through a lot of humiliation. It comes through a lot of repetition. It's uncomfortable, but it's worth it. So this is the predictable, repeatable framework. Hook, story, offer. What is a hook? Something that I can say quickly. A jab. Something that I can do or say quickly to grasp their attention. Usually this is the desirable outcome, the benefit, the pain that's being eliminated, the solution to their problem. For instance, would you like to learn how to make a million dollars in one month? Immediately, how many of you guys are like, okay, can you tell me more? That's a hook. What is the story? How you can do the thing. How can you provide the hook? So hook, how would you like to learn how to make a million dollars in a month? Story. Well, through running webinars, challenges, and speaking live for many years, I've found a five-step framework that I've developed that I've proven that you can implement in seven days. That's the story. What did I do? How did I do it? How can I help you? And then offer, which is a CTA, call to action. This is huge. What is your call to action? Is it a webinar? Is it a lead? Is it a lead magnet? Is it a challenge? Is it a live event? Is it a cross-promotion and pollination of different pages? You need to understand this. And this is huge. So prospecting and the difference between the three, prospecting is when you're trying to get new clients. Remarketing is when we're remarketing to people who already bought. How many of you guys understand that the easiest person to sell, the easiest client to sell is a client that you can retain? I have one of my highest performing ads. I have a lightsaber and I'm twirling the lightsaber while doing the ad. So people are scrolling and they have short attention spans and they see something that grasps them off it catches them off guard, now you have their attention. Now you have a few seconds to keep their attention. So that's one type of ad is the, uh, the pattern interrupt. That's one of my personal favorite. And I want you guys to understand that there's different buying types, there's different psychological types. So you wanna to cater to all of these, not just one. Not just one. So inspirational, motivational. What is your story? What is your rag to riches story? Because you can resonate with someone else. And the different messaging that you have and the more messaging that you have, the broader reach you can get. And the broader reach you can get, the more clients you can attract, the more money you can make. Does that make sense? I'm going to show you how with my proven, my proven five-step system. Number one, double your prices. Number two, double your production. Number three, double your partnerships. Number four, double the proof that you have. And number five, make more offers. So if you've seen an ad and I'm behind my ClickFunnels trophy where I made a million dollars in a year or $10 million in a year, and I gave you five actionable, was that value with those? Because that's actually one of my five-step frameworks. Was that value, those five-step frameworks? So if I taught you that in an ad where it's free, you're gonna keep listening. And if you're a sophisticated buyer and you're already getting results and you don't want fluff and you hear that, now you're grasping on to every word that I'm saying. So again, different strokes for different folks. And last but far from least is urgency and scarcity. Now I know we had a debate about this, so I'll give you a few examples on what I like to do. Urgency can be a timeline, ending in blank days, ending at blank time, or X amount of uh, units left. And then you have scarcity, right? So you have urgency and you have scarcity. Scarcity is gonna be the amount of units that are left, and these are two driving factors that increase conversions. But you can actually lose conversions if done pro improperly because people are sophisticated, right? Like B said, if there's 5,000 people on a webinar and I say 15 people only, and then I got a chat pop up of proof and that thing being in 40 different names, I'm losing trust. I really only recommend doing that when it can be legitimate. And a few ways that you can do it to make it legitimate without losing your bottom line, one of my personal favorites that we do is through different bonuses and different products. So we do a first mover's advantage. So whenever we're offering something or we're making a sale, we'll say the first 10 people get X. The next 10 people get B, right? The next 10 people get C. And once those 30 are gone, then you just get this. However, this is still better here today because it's half the price as it is anywhere else. Now, when it comes to the, the, um, when it comes to the urgency, because urgency is a factor that pushes indecisive people over. Now, one of the characteristics of successful people is they're decisive. That's one of the biggest characteristics of successful people. They can decide quickly. Success loves what? Me. So you have to have a mechanism to get people to jump over the ledge, to get off the fence. So it's very effective. But how do we do it? On a webinar, if I'm doing a webinar on Sunday, I'll have that special offer in on Wednesday or in the following Friday. Now, how do I do this and still sell it without cannibalizing myself and being unethical? You have to have a legitimate offer.